This is Tina and Sue from atlastravelweb.com. We're talking about travel news, trends, and everything in between. For more information, go to atlastravelweb.com or visit our blog. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. Hello, we're here today to talk about New Year's Lucky Foods. This is uh, probably one of the most popular blog posts we've ever had on our site. So we thought we'd clarify some of the questions that people have had. So here we go. Beans. Very big in a lot of cultures in Europe and the south of the U.S., although they say it's traveled everywhere, is eating beans. And there, there's a couple reasons. They, uh, they're small and round, so they resemble coins. So people think that eating beans might bring them uh, you know, money in the new year. Others feel it's a sign of humility. You're eating something simple as your first dish of the new year, so you're not asking for much. You know, you're simple and, and that good things will come. Uh, most common type of beans prepared are black-eyed peas and green lentils, although any are acceptable. And you know, don't, if you don't feel like uh, cooking a pot of beans or you don't have a pressure cooker, you can absolutely use it in salad. Uh, some people make it breakfast fritters. I mean, be crea as creative as you want to be. Just make sure that you have at least a, a handful of, of beans as one of your... Uh, okay, because that was going to be my next question, because I know as a kid, I certainly dreaded the, uh, the black-eyed peas, whatever they are. Right. And uh, I always wondered how much I needed to eat in you order know, for the... Ho Hopping John's is in beans and rice. They, Puerto Rico, they make uh, rice and gandules as well. And, uh, uh, you know, open a can of... Uh, pork and beans, like garbanzo beans, you know, th in uh, Italy, they'll throw some pork on it. You can be as creative as you want to be. I've seen some really great things on Pinterest as well. Uh, so, you know, just as long as you're getting a spoonful, you're fine. Okay. Greens. This is an easy one. Green, they, they look like dollars. They look like money. So people feel like the more greens you eat. So in this case, I'm going to say way more than a spoonful if you can handle it. The more uh, greens you eat, the more money is said that you're going to have in the new year. So, uh, you know, show you the money, show you the fiber. I would go for it. Collard greens, sauerkraut, you know, salads, cooked, uncooked, doesn't matter. Just make sure you have a lot of green stuff on your plate on New Year's Day. Okay, good enough. Pork and fish. This is an interesting one. I'm going to go over uh, the reasons why you shouldn't eat some of the other things. Uh, chicken and turkeys, they scratch backwards. When they're eating, when they're standing around, nobody wants to go backwards. Same goes for the lobster. Delicious, one of my favorite, but you don't want to eat it on New Year's Day because we don't want to go backwards in the new year. Mm. Cows, cows graze. They don't do much. They stand around. We don't want to stand still in the new year. So that's where the, the pork and the fish come in. Pork, mainly because they're plump. So people want plump wallets and, and good things in the new year. And they root their snout forward when they're eating and moving. So that's sort of a sign of determination in the coming year that we're all gonna face our challenges and just, just move head on. So that's why pork became popular. And fish, several reasons. They travel in schools, they travel together. So, you know, togetherness, abundance, their scales are silver, reminds some cultures of coins. And of course they swim forward. So actually, let's take that in another step. In China, they will actually serve the fish whole with the head and tail because they want to ensure good luck from start to finish. So you can uh, prepare it again in many, many ways, but I would stick to these two meats. And for those vegetarians that don't want to eat uh, either one, vegans, you can prepare from what I hear a pork shaped cookie. Good luck in finding a cookie cutter, but as long as you have something in the pig shape, uh, you're also covered for, for luck. Grapes and round fruits. You know, the 12 grape thing is very popular in Spain, Mexico, and other Latin countries. The theory is that you eat one grape for every month. And if there is a sour one, let's say your third grape is sour, then that's kind of giving you a heads up that March may be a, a rough month. So it's giving you a heads up. In other cultu cultures, they actually take it a step further. You're supposed to make a wish for every grape. And some believe that you're supposed to eat all 12 uh, from midnight to 12.01. So in other words, one every 10 seconds. As far as round fruits, uh, mainly because of their golden color, oranges, tangerines, things like that are popular in Asian countries representing gold. Pomegranate is very, very popular because it's many, many seeds uh, and representing abundance. So, 
you know, whether you make a fruit salad or just eat the fruit straight or some people kind of decorate their tables with, you know, a lot of colorful fruit, just uh, definitely for the vitamins, I would, I would include fruit uh, on New Year's. So the grapes, for the most part, are the only thing that you have to eat right at midnight. Absolutely. The rest of the fruit can kind of be consumed throughout the day. Absolutely. Long noodles. Very easy one. Uh, main challenge is you're going to need a very big pot. You want to cook uh, your noodles without cutting them. And you also want to eat them without cutting them. So you kind of just have to slurp it in. And it's supposed to represent long life, longevity. And that originated in Japan. So again, there's no certain amount of noodles I need to eat? Absolutely not. As long as you have one long uncut noodle, you're fine. Cornbread. Cornbread, definitely a thing uh, for the South mainly. Uh, again, because of its golden color, a lot of people uh, will actually make it and use whole kernels because the kernels are like golden nuggets. And besides, it's a really nice compliment to like your black eyed peas or any. So it's, it's an easy side dish. Uh, and uh, you'll cover your. You're, as you see, a lot of these things have to do with money or coins or things like that. So that's just another interpretation of that. Round foods. This is interesting because it represents the year kind of coming to a close from start to finish the old year and starting a new one. So anything qualifies. You know, we, we happen to put a picture here of pizza, but anything round, a lot of cakes fall into this category. Different cultures will hide a coin when they bake a cake, and whoever gets the coin is going to have the better fortune that year. But uh, just uh, try to make some of your appetizers or meals throughout the day. Make, you know, make sure something is round. Rice and grains. Uh, the reason for this, again, is abundance. All of these things, whether you're talking barley risotto or regular rice, it swells when you cook it. So uh, just the thought that you're going to... Uh, have good things in the future. So, you know, we're, we all want uh, a better year, hopefully. And, so I could mix my rice and my grains with my beans and my cornbread. Absolutely. You have a great meal. Don't forget your side of collard greens, though. That's or, right. Or your salad. So uh, we hope that you found this information helpful. We have lots of information on our blog, and we have some great ideas for recipes on our Pinterest page as well.